Hello, welcome to the walkthrough of the new library of Mutone Audio Bandeiru 2 for Contact 5.8 or higher. In this video, we'll show you the sound of the library and some great features. The new Bandeiru library offers a wide selection of Brazilian rhythms in addition to bringing single hits on five different instruments. Like the recent libraries, Bandeiru 2 was recorded with four microphones, a Shure SM57, a Royer R122, a pair of Newman KM184, and a Newman U87 for ambiance. The preamps, two Grace M101, an API 512, and UA2610. In the new session, we have a brilliant performance by percussionist guru Robson Batata, bringing an extensive variation of rhythms and grooves in addition to modern rhythmic cells that allow more versatility of use for the pandeiro. There are six NKI files with groups of cells distributed at three different BPM. They all have fixed time and sync. In addition to the Hobson session, we have another performance previously recorded by the great musicians Marcos Nascimento and Paulo Gomes. Altogether, we have 14 different NKI files and more than 160 different loops, along with five pandeiros in single hits. In the first demo, we have the use of some traditional Brazilian rhythms, especially baião. You can find all the percussion instruments used in this demo on our website. Let's see. Let's listen to just the pandeiro. You can combine different rhythms together using sync to adapt to your taste within the music. In the next demo, we have the use of all single hits together with a loop cell. Here, the instruments copy the rhythm from a single loop, forming an ensemble. We also have a pandero 5, which brings a peculiar and lower bass sound, resembling a tom drum, recorded only with a drumstick. Let's listen. Let's hear only the pandeiros. First, enter the loop cell that forms the rhythmic pattern. Then, we will place the single hits one by one. Note how each one has its own sound, bringing an interesting coloring to the rhythmic pattern. And then, pandeiro 5 comes in 
with another rhythmic pattern. Next, we have a traditional shoru, using only the pandeiro six with shoru loops. Let's listen. Note that it is also possible to reproduce the rhythm using only single hits. remembering that fine editing of velocities is important for a more realistic performance. Then we have a version of Chico Chico no Fubá, using only mule tone instruments. Let's listen. With synchronized loops, you can change the tempo of the song in real time. Remembering that it's not recommended to use movements that are far from the original time of each loop. Let's listen to just the pandeiros. A recommendation for using sync loops is to use only one microphone. This avoids phase problems since sync can change a few milliseconds when reading transients within the wave. In the last example, we will hear some traditional Brazilian rhythms performed on the controller. The Pandeiro 1 and 2 have greater microphone flexibility, 
in addition to bringing a natural big room sound. The other pandeiros were recorded in a previous session using only two microphones. That is all. For more information, please contact us at support at mutonaudio.com. Thank you for watching.